Hello everybody. This presentation is intended for regular employees newly hired to work less than 20 hours per week. The purpose of this presentation is to give you a high-level overview of many important aspects related to your employment with the City of Loveland. At the City of Loveland, we have several core competencies or expectations. The purpose of our competencies is to drive our behavior and guide our daily decision making. Those who demonstrate accountability and integrity accept personal responsibility for their actions and work product. They are also adhering to high ethical and professional standards. Collaboration is key to establishing and maintaining good working relationships. Those who are collaborative work and communicate effectively and cooperatively with others. In terms of service, courtesy, and kindness, every day each of us must demonstrate quality and excellence in our service with a customer focus. We must exhibit and cultivate friendliness, treat people with fairness, respect, decency, and compassion. Innovation encourages original thinking and meeting challenges with resourcefulness. And last but not least is safety. We must all be aware of the importance and demonstrate a commitment to safety every day. Performance management is, together with our managers, how each of us is accountable for our performance every day to meet the needs for the City of Loveland and also our customers. Performance management includes ongoing discussions and feedback from our managers. It also includes written evaluations to formally document and align the manager's expectations with our performance. In terms of pay increases, when budget allows, increases are distributed using a pay for performance philosophy, which simply means that employees are rewarded for their performance results. Also. Any merit increase budget must always be approved by City Council. As related to pay periods and pay dates, pay periods differ per department, so check with your manager to be clear. We are paid every other Tuesday at the City of Loveland. The City of Loveland does not have an employee handbook. Rather, we have what are called administrative regulations which, like an employee handbook, outline the expectations for all employees. Please understand that while you are expected to be familiar with all city administrative regulations, this presentation will focus on only a key few. Those we will review today are respectful workplace, including anti-harassment, anti-discrimination, and diversity, violence in the workplace, the drug-free workplace, background investigations, pay and employment decisions and the Fair Labor Standard Act, worker compensation, conduct, performance and discipline, the open doors process, and finally our social media administrative regulation. Again, because you are expected to be familiar with all administrative regulations, you can access them from the city intranet at the link shown here. The City of Loveland Administrative Regulation Number 37 prohibits harassment, offensive and inappropriate behavior to ensure a respectful and productive workplace. The AR provides a mechanism for reporting, provides protection from retaliation for those who make a report, and discipline for violations. This administrative regulation covers employees, volunteers, citizens, council members, and vendors. The City of Loveland does not tolerate in any way discrimination or harassment based on race, color, national origin, ancestry, citizenship, gender, sexual orientation, age, religion, marital or veteran status, a medical condition, handicap, or disability. Please be aware that harassment can occur in many ways. Verbal harassment can include comments or jokes. Written harassment can include pictures, symbols, emails or texts, and physical harassment can include unwanted touching. Some examples of harassing, offensive, or inappropriate behavior include racial or ethnic jokes, teasing someone based on age or disability, inappropriate comments based on gender or sexual orientation. 
These are just examples, and this is not an all-inclusive list. As related specifically to sexual harassment, it is defined as unwelcome attention of a sexual nature when such conduct is made a term or condition of employment. It is used in making employment decisions, or it, uh, it unreasonably interferes with someone's performance or creates an intimidating, hostile, or offensive environment. Examples which can constitute sexual harassment include things like unwanted touching, unwelcome compliments, sexual innuendos, obscene or lewd comments or jokes, display of nude, sexual, or suggestive pictures. Again, these are just examples and the list is not all-inclusive. Diversity is simply the state of having many different forms, types, ideas, etc. Diversity extends to educational background, income level, life experiences, physical abilities, medical conditions. Quite literally, diversity is anything or characteristic that makes us different from one another. The City of Loveland values our diverse employee and citizen population. As employees, we are all expected to demonstrate respect, appreciation, and inclusiveness for each other and the citizens we serve. There are ways each of us can express our value for diversity, like respecting, embracing, and soliciting different ideas and opinions from our coworkers, and being willing to learn from those with different backgrounds, experiences, and cultures. On the contrary, there are also things people might do when they don't value diversity, like reinforcing negative stereotypes, making jokes at the expense of another person's protected characteristics, like race, gender, or disability, or mocking, demeaning, or showing hostility towards an individual or a group based on some other protected characteristic. These last examples are the types of behaviors that will not be tolerated in any way by the City of Loveland. If you are witness to or experience harassment or discrimination while employed with the City of Loveland, please address it. If you are comfortable doing so, identify the offensive behavior to the person responsible for it and request that it stop. If the behavior continues, report it to management and human resources immediately. The City of Loveland Administrative Regulation Number 5 prohibits actual or threatened violence against co-workers, guests, the general public, and others, as well as property, to ensure a safe and violent-free workplace. This AR provides a mechanism for reporting, provides protection from retaliation for those who make a report, and discipline for violations. This administrative regulation covers employees and volunteers. Prevention is key to violence in the workplace, and because of this, employees must immediately report to management and or human resources any incidents of violence, threats, intimidation, or other disruptive or inappropriate behaviors against yourself or anyone else. If extreme concern for safety exists, you must call 911. Be aware of what's going on around you and report any early warning signs like bullying, verbal threats, property destruction, or intense or obsessive behaviors. Also, any employee who has initiated a restraining order against another person must report that restraining order to both management and human resources immediately. This is to ensure your safety as well as the safety of your coworkers. The City of Loveland Administrative Regulation No. 39 communicates the City's Zero Tolerance Policy related to drugs and alcohol, which includes both medical and recreational marijuana. The purpose of this administrative regulation is to promote a safe workplace and ensure compliance with the 1988 Federal Drug-Free Workplace Act, which prohibits the unlawful buying, selling, using, possessing, or the transferring of controlled substances. It also prohibits reporting to work with a blood alcohol content of 0.02 or higher, and also prohibits the use of alcohol while on duty. 
This administrative regulation provides information on how to report violations and also calls for discipline. The Drug-Free Workplace Administrative Regulation covers employees and volunteers. If your position requires a driver's license, you have additional obligation as a city employee. These obligations are that you must immediately notify your manager if you are cited for any traffic violation, if you are cited for a traffic violation that results in suspension or revocation of your license, or you are convicted of any criminal drug statute that occurs in the workplace. Grounds for drug and alcohol screening include reasonable suspicion, any post-accident event where reasonable suspicion exists, or random testing which occurs in safety-sensitive positions within police and fire, and also positions requiring a commercial driver's license, and are regulated under the Department of Transportation Regulation No. 40 and the Federal Transportation Authority No. 41. Please be aware. Employees will be subject to termination if they fail to submit, cooperate, or pass a drug and alcohol screen. In terms of prescription and over-the-counter drugs, employees must report to their manager the use of any medicine that carries an adverse warning label. By adverse warning label, what we mean, for example, is any drug that might impact motor or cognitive skills. And finally, another reminder that recreational and medical marijuana is illegal under federal law and also City of Loveland prohibited. The City of Loveland Background Investigation AR exists to ensure a high quality workforce and also appropriate placement of our workers. This administrative regulation covers applicants, employees, and volunteers. Management notification is required during the course of your employment or volunteer service if you operate a motor vehicle in your position with the city and you receive any kind of traffic violation or you are arrested or convicted of a felony or misdemeanor other than a minor traffic violation. The City of Loveland Administrative Regulation No. 42 covers worker compensation. Worker compensation provides the applicable level of wage replacement for approved lost time and covers approved medical expenses for injury or illness arising out of the course and scope of employment. This AR is intended to ensure employees' compliance and efficient claims management. It also helps employees understand how to report an injury, obtain care, and record lost time. Finally, it explains transitional duty and the penalties for noncompliance. The Work Comp AR covers only employees. Employees are required to report all work-related injuries or illnesses to their manager within one business day. This requirement even includes what might be perceived as a minor injury like a cut that doesn't seem to need treatment. In the case of a work-related emergency, go to the nearest emergency room, report the incident to your manager, and provide them with the physician paperwork as soon as possible, but no later than the following business day. Then you must select and notify a designated provider, either Banner or Occupational Health Services, the next day and use them for all related follow-up care appointments. For non-emergencies where treatment is required, notify your manager and make an appointment with a designated provider. And afterwards, report each visit to your manager and provide them with the physician paperwork including any restrictions. For prescription medications, you may visit any pharmacy and either pay out of pocket and file a claim for reimbursement with Pinnacle, or you can call the city's risk management department to make other arrangements for payment of pharmacy medications being prescribed for a worker compensation injury. In regard to time away from work and then returning to the workplace, the worker comp physician must authorize both time away and your return to work in writing. At times, transitional duty may apply. 
Transitional duty refers to changes or modifications to your work tasks while you recover from an injury. In some cases, employees may actually be denied worker compensation. Wage replacement penalties and or discipline may also be applicable at times. Examples of employee actions that may cause such a situation include but are not limited to an employee's failure to use safety devices or obey safety rules, an employee's having been impaired, an employee reporting late or missing appointments, obtaining care from non-designated providers, and or refusal of appropriate transitional duty. The City of Loveland Administrative Regulation Number 54 is called Pay and Employment Decisions. It ensures that employees understand pay decisions, employment changes, as well as various benefit status and position classifications. This AR also ensures compliance with the Federal Fair Labor Standards Act. This administrative regulation covers only employees. For those of you watching this video, your position type is referred to as regular part-time, meaning that your position is ongoing and year-round, but not eligible for benefits since you will typically always work less than 20 hours per week. Your position classification is most likely non-exempt, also referred to as hourly. You will be eligible for overtime or compensatory time should you work more than 40 hours in a designated work week. As a general rule, though, you should not be working above 19 hours per week without advance supervisor approval. Non-exempt or hourly employees should never work off the clock. Any work in excess of 10 minutes per week outside of your normal schedule, whether it be checking emails or taking work-related phone calls, for example, must be recorded so you can be paid. With supervisor approval, though, you may flex out that extra time as long as you do so within the same work week. Please be aware that working off the clock can subject you to discipline, up to and including termination of your employment. For employees whose positions require planning or preparation time, please obtain guidance from your manager. As related to record keeping, please obtain guidance from your manager on the time reporting process at your individual work location. And be sure to always report your time accurately because either over or under reporting time worked is subject to discipline. In terms of meal or rest breaks, please obtain guidance from your supervisor. Our City of Loveland Administrative Regulation Number 12 addresses conduct, performance, and discipline. Its purpose is to ensure employee understanding of expected conduct and performance standards, as well as the consequences for inappropriate behavior, unsatisfactory work performance, or failure to maintain minimum job requirements. This administrative regulation provides examples of actions, conduct, behavior, and poor performance that would subject an employee to discipline up to and including termination. This AR covers only employees. On the bottom half of this slide, you see examples of behavior or conduct that could subject an employee to discipline. Examples include, but are not limited to, conduct that is detrimental to customer service or city operation, misusing or damaging property, fighting or attempting bodily harm, unauthorized and or excessive absence, tardiness, or wasting time, and also safety violations. Administrative Regulation Number 27 is titled Open Doors. Its purpose is to ensure employee understanding of their access to increasingly higher levels of management for timely resolution of work-related concerns. This AR provides examples of why an employee might want to utilize the program and also outlines the process to follow. Open Doors applies only to employees. Two examples applicable to the Open Doors process include concerns affecting an employee's job performance or employee concerns related to a poor working environment or unsafe conditions. 
The open doors process is time sensitive and the expectations are fully outlined in the administrative regulation. And while the open doors process is available, we highly encourage all employees to verbally discuss concerns with management first. Administrative regulation number 51 covers social media. This AR exists to ensure that employees use social media websites and blogs in a manner consistent with city communication objectives and employee conduct expectations. The expectations may apply to both city and personal social media sites or blogs depending on the content. This AR covers employees only. In terms of posted content, please just remember always to be respectful and courteous with any posting involving your City of Loveland co-workers. Please be aware that any postings in violation of the City's harassment AR will not be tolerated. And finally, please notify your manager and or human resources of any concerns you have related to co-workers, safety, or other issues impacting successful operation of our City facilities and services. In order to report policy or compliance violations, please speak to your manager or human resources. Another reporting option exists with Ethics Point, our third party hotline vendor. Ethics Point offers the ability to make reports via the web or a toll free number. For questions related to the content in this presentation, please speak to your manager or a human resources representative. While we've covered just a few of the key administrative regulations, please remember that as a City of Loveland employee, you are required to be familiar with all City administrative regulations. As such, please ask your manager to show you how to access the additional ARs and take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with those not covered here today. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Welcome to the City of Loveland. We are happy to have you join our team.